Okay, so uh, today I'm going to show you how to do drum replacement using Melodyne. The reason I like to use Melodyne to, you, to do drum replacement is because uh, it works really fast and uh, it's velocity sensitive, so it helps to give that extra uh, natural feel to the replacement. So I've got, I've got this uh, simple kick and snare loop here. So I'm going to show you. Doesn't sound half bad, but it, it isn't perfect. So uh, let's, let's replace the kick drum first. This is how the kick drum sounds soloed. It's not a really a beautiful kick drum. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna strip silence. I've got the settings already input here, so minus 10 dB as a threshold is what works for this file. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. So it's stripped the silence, and this is how it sounds. It's even worse, but uh, it works for what we want to do. So I selected all the all the little events that uh, Strip Silence created, and I'm gonna bounce the selection to create a single event. It's the, it's the same thing. The reason I did this is to help Melodyne work with it. It it would work without it, but I I want to make sure I'm not letting anything out. So uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and edit this with Melodyne. The, uh, the really cool thing about Studio One is that it's really integrated with Melodyne through the ARA plugin interface. I don't know the hell that is, but uh, I can just open it and it, it works really integrated. So make sure the algorithm is percussive. And uh, okay, Melodyne already detected the hits. If you were working on another DAW, you would go here now, settings, save as MIDI. You'd save it as snare or kick or whatever it was. And then you import it into your DAW, it will line up, line up with the event that you, that you edited. But uh, in Studio One, all I need to do is click here, drag. I've got a BFD uh, track here with a snare and kick loaded. So I just dragged it and uh, Melodyne uh, converted that uh, detection to MIDI and now I got a MIDI, MIDI file here. I'm gonna select all, that's Control A or Command A and uh, this is the kick so I'm gonna drag, drag it to the kick slot which is, let me see, kick and this is how it sounds. You can see the uh, the velocity uh, variation here. This is as detected by Melodyne, so it, it it really works to give us that extra edge. So let's mute the, the original kick drum. A lot better. Uh, okay, uh, now let's do the snare. Same process. Strip silence. Select all events. Bounce. I use the keyboard shortcut Control B. Edit with Melodyne. It's Control M. Make sure the algorithm is in percussive. Click and drag, control, press control to copy instead of moving. And let's open the MIDI file. So the kicks the kick hits are here and the the MIDI the snare hits are detected here. So uh, I'm gonna drag them back to where they should be. And 
and you can see uh, it's also velocity uh, the velocity is also detected so let's see how it sounds So that's it, uh, have a nice uh, evening and keep on mixing. <laughs>